Um, doctor, how far out are you booked for a new patient? Now, let me get more specific about the type of new patient that I'm saying. This is not an emergency. I hope if someone has an emergency, you get them in today, you know, at least for palliative yes. treatment to get them out of pain. But this would be someone that uh, discovered you. They moved, maybe it's a new mover into your, into your community. And uh, they want to get established. Nothing's going on, but they want to get established with uh, a dentist uh, because they've always been faithful about going to the dentist and they want to make an appointment. Uh, that's, that's the exact type of new patient that I'm asking. When could that patient be seen in your practice? And, and I'll ask doctor, actually take a look in your schedule because your perception of what's happening may not be what's happening at all. I said, now go into your schedule and tell me when you can see it. And, and oftentimes I'll say, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm booked out four or five weeks and longer in the case that you're using as an example in the intro, two and a half months. Yes. Um, and again, that is, uh, you're stubbing your toe in terms of marketing. Uh, uh, relatively recently, uh, had a client reach out to me, a new client, and he said, I just need more marketing. I need more new patients. And I had already looked at remote access to his software. I looked at his, uh, his availability and her, his first new patient appointment was booked six weeks out. I said, yeah, you, you may need new, more new patients, but first thing we need to solve is we need to be able to get patients in sooner. Right. Uh, because you're, if you started to dial up your marketing, you're going to have a lot of marketing fails, a lot of non-conversions. In other words, the call is going to come in. If they're working with Equi, I can guarantee you the phone's going to start ringing. And then they got nowhere to put them. Right. And that, that caller is going to just hang up and go to the next office on their Google search. Right. Even now, if they say that I'll show up in six weeks, there's a good chance they're not going to show up. The, the shorter the period of time between the call and the appointment time, the right. more likely they are to show up. So uh, in, with our clients, our goal is to be able to work a new patient in uh, with, with, within a week uh, of the call, I, ideally within a week, a week or less. Now, if you present an appointment and there, let's say you're the patient and you say, well, right now I'm in a big project at work. I was kind of thinking like, um, you know, uh, maybe three or four weeks, then fine. Go ahead and book them out three or four weeks. Right. But you presented an appointment now, you know, relatively soon. Yeah. So that would be an indi indicator that uh, you have some strength because, you know, when you resign from PPO plans, you're going to lose patients. Right. I'm not going to sugarcoat. You will lose some. However, when you do it right, you'll lose way fewer than you think. So maybe the act of going out of network is exactly what you need to do to rebalance your schedule to be able to get patients in sooner.